Good morning everyone and welcome to this video. This is a skincare video as well as a little bit of makeup. Yeah, I have um, a couple things, well a lot of things that I have to get done. The first thing that I do is I will cleanse my face with a product that I got from a company called Ipsy. I do a little bit of skincare every day but pretty much just once. It's either in the morning or in the evening. First thing I gotta do is I gotta get this uh, hair out of my face. If you're not familiar with what Ipsy is, it is a company that sends you five samples every month. Now, what they send you is based on answers that you put in their questionnaire and it tells them what your concerns are, what colors you like, what your skin tone is. Based on that, what items to send you every month and it's $10 a month. I don't have my glasses hold on I gotta put these handy things on because I'm blind I'm old and I'm blind and I need new ones because there I there's certain size writing that I still cannot read even when I have these babies on okay this is by Mariah and it is the essential C cleanser and I've used it oh, maybe two times and then I have one of these things and I'm not sure what they're called but I got mine at my dermatologist. So I know they come in different shapes, different colors. Mine just says Swiss Ultimate. I, I believe that's just the style that I have is the Swiss Ultimate. Then I'm gonna start. I like to start it on the eyes because it kind of just gives me a little wake up. I just, I'm just gonna pat dry. Next thing I'm going to do, tone. It's the Obagi AM, AM toner. Okay, the next thing I would typically do, but I'm not doing this this morning, is the, I have a couple different ones. Um, I, this is the Obagi Elastoderm Eye. Then I have the Elastoderm Eye Treatment Gel, Obagi as well. And then I have Skinception Elasticity. I also use this around my, my eyes. This morning, I'm going to use this. It's got a nice little roller ball. I have a bag under here that kind of helps get those down. I'm going to use the Life Cell. It's a all-in-one product. Typically, I will use a product that my dermatologist put out. It's uh, called HH Science, the Retinol Plus Smoothing Serum. It looks like this. However, my skin has been pretty dry lately and that stuff tends to dry it out pretty bad. I'm not gonna use much to start. I'm just gonna take a little bit. I don't use a ton of product on my face. Just the smaller the amount, the better. The stuff's pretty expensive and it typically, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting cold. It, uh, typically lasts a long time because I don't use it very often. If you have a 30 day product, it typically lasts me about three months. Another thing that I would use is by Magic Spa and it's hydrochloric acid and there's a couple different ones that I get them on eBay. This particular one has silk peptides, Mitrixol 300 and vitamin C. This is what it looks like. Then the other one has Q10, Mitrixol 300, so 3000, and vitamin, vitamin C. Yes, so this is the Q, COQ10, and this is the uh, silk pepsid. Pep, I think I'm saying that right. You will notice I can't pronounce things. So typically this would be something that I would use before I would put this on. I'm going to be picking up the Skin Tight and Vitamin C Drops, which are amazing, by the way. HH Science has a website where you can purchase from. I could leave a link below. It can be purchased that way. Now I'm just gonna go with my makeup. See, I, my skincare is very basic. The moisturizer I'm using is also HH Science, and it is the Enriched Super Rich Moisturizer. Another product I use is HH Science Bright and Tight, and it has um, a good amount of retinol in it, 
when I use this within a couple days, I am peeling like crazy. So it just resurfaces my entire face. So if I can put up with this for about a four week period and put up with the flaking on my skin, it looks amazing after about four weeks. Another thing that I used, I used last night just because I was so flaky, I used some vitamin E oil and some argon oil to get some moisture in my face. I also use by Advanced Clinicals, it's a collagen instant plumping serum. I use that once in a while. So these are just some products that I typically use. The biggest thing for me is hydration, hydration, hydration. This has a nice little thing and that's all I would use. I have two different primers. One I get from Walgreens, which is the number seven um, pore minimizing primer. Then another one that I have is Touch of Soul No Pore Blem Primer. This and this I got from Ipsy, and I haven't tried this one yet. This is Prep Prime Skin Base, and I believe this is by MAC. Yeah, it's by MAC. I love this, so I'm gonna stick with this for today. Yeah. What I love about this is it just makes my skin feel super soft, and that never goes away. The next thing I'm gonna do are my horrible, god-awful brows, and this is by Maybelline, and it's in blonde. Okay, so what I typically do is I just fill this in. This. And I just take this up. I'm horrible at doing brows. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes real quick. I just do three pumps. But this is Latisse, and I usually just use one drop. It's a three mil and it typically lasts me anywhere from two to three months. I'm using City City Chic. This is also something I received from my Ipsy bag. It's uh, called Skinny Latte. Kind of matches my nails. <laughs> I typically use this kind of brush just to start out with because I don't use a ton of this and it's angled so I like that. This is, <laughs> this is actually a blush from Mary Kay that I've had it's called Sunny Spice. Just looks like that. So I basically use this just, just around the crease of my eye just to give it a little bit of depth. Let's see the next thing, my concealer from Smashbox. And again, I received this from Ipsy and it's also one of my favorite products. So, so far, these two products are my absolute favorite and they're products that I actually have intention on ordering. And, and I seriously, I do not set out to order specific products. I have tried to find a good concealer for years, one that doesn't crease or flake around my eyes. This one does not do that. It doesn't appear sticky, tacky. It goes on nice and it stays nice. And it is the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. I'm not sure what shade this is, but I am fair to light, or those are the colors that I tend to use. So I'm pretty sure it's, it's in that range. So I will just dab right around that, that bag. This one's not too bad. Next place I'll go are these little spider veins that I have that are god awful ugly. I put it on my cheek because I have some redness that I wanted to just kind of tone down. My sponge is a little bit dirty and what I typically use to clean my brushes and my sponge is by Real Techniques uh, brush cleaning gel. So, so on my under eye, I'm just gonna pull this down. Next, I'm going to use Super Goop CC Cream, and this is in the Fair to Light foundation that actually works towards your skin color. And I don't, I'm not huge on foundation. I do not use a ton. I will probably use about that much 
on one side and that much on another on the other side. And yeah, I did something out of order. I totally should have done this first, then my eyes. A little bit of blush, and again, this came from Ipsy. It is called Space Case in Cosmic Gangster. And I use one of these. And I just smile, get a little bit around that. And then pull it back like this. Next up, I have two different uh, mascaras that I typically go to. It's from IT Cosmetics, and I got it from uh, QVC. The first one is the Superhero in black, and then the second one is the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes extension. I'm going to use the Hello Lashes. The brush looks like this. Now, typically if I get any on my lid, I'll just take a Q-tip. This is a, a highlighter. It's also something that I <laughs> received from my Ipsy bag um, by Mary Lou Manizer. It's just a highlighter, <clears throat> and I use this on my eyes. All right, so I typically just use it right through here on the arch. And then I'll take some and go across the top of my brow. Just a touch of powder, and this is by Tarte, and it's just a translucent powder. I might use about that much. My basic makeup would be primer, brows, powder. That's really it. <laughs> so I'll roll this. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to use another product that I got from Ipsy. I tell you, $10 a month to get all these things that I get is an inc incredible deal. You should really look it up. I will leave the link in the description. But this is by, I don't know, I, I think it says Boxer, B-O-X-E-R, but uh, I don't think that's the name of it. This is in shade A Soft Rose Pink. Their shades in name Bella. It is a uh, lip plumper. It's very pretty. I, I love this. It just gives your lips a little bit of color and a little bit of fullness. Something by NYX. It's called Matte Finish. Infinity Matte. Long lasting. It's a setting spray. Last thing I'm going to use, something that I got from Ipsy, from Pixie, and it's just a glow mist. Looks like this. Then, before I leave, I will use a product that I get from Scentbird, which is a little thing of perfume. I get one every month, and I get to choose my scent. It's $15 a month. It is Philosophy. Amazing grace. The next thing I'm gonna do is to fix up my hair a little bit. It's not looking too bad, but I just want to add a little bit of volume to it. The iron I'm gonna use is by Revlon. It's just the silicone brush and it heats up. It, this is a one inch. My protectant spray that I use is called Smooth Criminal by Beyond the Zone. I'm not using this this morning simply because I washed my hair last night and I added from Fructis a smooth blow dry anti frizz. It's a 450 degree heat protection. So I used that last night. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. And there you have it. That is pretty much my morning routine. All right, guys, give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos and be notified when they're out. I'm typically doing videos about every other week right now. Late on the weekends, sometimes during the week. It just depends upon how the video is coming along and how my editing is coming along because my editing skills suck. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.